Hey TCS TV viewers, it is Dave from the Camera Store and we are here in New York City with the A7R Mark IV. So you guys are probably wondering where Evelyn is in all of this. Unfortunately, she could not make this trip. Sony sent Brendan and I to a very hot and a very muggy New York City for the launch of the A7R Mark IV. Now this is a 61 megapixel backside illuminated sensor, full frame, featuring in-body image stabilization, promising 15 stops of dynamic range, and of course their amazing autofocus system and some features that videographers are gonna be very happy with. Sony has a great autofocus system. This camera features 567 phase detect autofocus points and 425 contrast detect autofocus points. Now this is great. I can pick and choose which one of those points I want to use. I can choose different zones of focus I want to use. I find I, myself, I'm primarily using real-time tracking focus. Real-time tracking focus is an amazing feature from Sony cameras. This allows you to pick and choose the subject you want to keep in focus, no matter where it is in the frame, it's going to track it. Now, when we were shooting models and all the different shooting scenarios, it's going to switch from real-time to the face as soon as it recognizes in the scene. And I'm very happy and impressed with the results I'm getting. They're accurate and very sharp. Now, I really like this eye detection system, but when things get a lot darker, you certainly notice it does struggle a little bit, but it's to be expected. and It's something I'm not that upset about. 61 megapixels is a lot of data. Now what's equally as impressive about that is that it can do it at 10 frames per second. Now in my initial testing of it using continuous tracking, I wasn't getting the hit rate I was happy with. It wasn't bad, but I thought it could be a little bit better than that. Now maybe I've been spoiled with cameras that are sport specific like the A9, which is an amazing autofocus camera when it comes to sports and action. Now when you first pick up the A7R Mark IV, you're going to notice it feels really good, especially if you're an existing A7 III owner, for instance. You're going to love how they've improved the grip, it's, it's a little bit bigger, feels more comfortable, and overall the whole camera seems to have been a little bit more mature, it's a little more sophisticated. Corners are rounded off a little bit more, buttons and dials feel very good. Now we do have an exposure compensation button here with a lock. The only nitpick I would have is that when you hit zero compensation, it was a little more of a distinguishable click than all the other ones. Not the end of the world, but something I would like to see. And then the mode dial does have a lock as well, but I don't know why you always have to push it to turn it. You don't have the option like you do the exposure compensation dial to leave it locked or unlocked. On the outside of the camera, we have dual SD card slots, and they're both UHS-2 compatible now, which is fantastic. We've got rid of the switch. All there is is simply just slide the door over and back. It's very solid and feels really nice. So it does have a built-in touchscreen and I find it very responsive. Now this is great for choosing my autofocus points and for reviewing my images. Now we still have the same menu system that Sony is famous for, which is more confusing than I'd like it to be. And it's frustrating that even though I use the touchscreen for choosing my autofocus points and interfacing with the camera, when it comes to the menu system, I have to rely on the buttons and dials of the camera to navigate the menu system. Why can't I do it through the touchscreen? Now videographers are gonna love this new feature. We now have real-time eye autofocus during recording. Now this is great if you're shooting people or if you're vlogging. It follows the eye and it does an exceptionally good job of it. Now, it's not a video specific camera. Your best quality is gonna be 4K 8-bit at 30 frames per second. Now, it is a 61 megapixel sensor. That's a lot of resolution. And motion blur is gonna creep into your images at a much lower shutter speed than you expected. It does have in-body image stabilization, but you have to be very mindful of your shutter speeds. Always lean towards the higher end of your shutter. My initial impressions of this camera are very good. Of course, it's got high resolution and it's very sharp, especially with G Master lenses. Now, I was a little disappointed with the hit rate I was getting when I was shooting at 10 frames per second, but it's not a sports-specific camera. That's what the A9 is all about. When I'm reviewing a camera, I'm always very mindful of who the camera is designed for. Now, at 61 megapixels being the headline of this camera is certainly for people that demand that kind of resolution. Now, yes, I wish it had better video specs and I wish it had a little better performance when it came to tracking. But overall, this is a fantastic camera. Now, let us know what you think of this camera with the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to us and follow me on Instagram and Evelyn. And we'll catch you again next time.